Hello everyone, this is Bharat from DT Tech Solutions. Today the video describes about uh, detecting uh, video bugs using Radio Inspector TACM software. Uh, we are using a Signal Haunt uh, BB60C Spectrum Analyzer as a receiver. So let me start with the uh, inspector. So this is the inspector RT is an icon. Um, just be just be now right me opening the software. So this is the software of Radio Inspector RT. Connecting with Signal Haunt. So let me stop it and uh, there is two set of uh, one is a free this is a frequency spam and uh, this is a measurement setup uh, this is the entire band so this measurement setup will explain about the connectivity instrument which are connecting under radio inspector so this is the n number of signal on instrument um, so as as well for both b bb60 c now we are connecting bb60 c you can see uh, so it will show that instrument is connected uh, so let's we start it so now we we'll, uh, get started with uh, red inspector um, you can see our usual also the spectrum analyzer uh, set up like a start stop and uh, video bandwidth receiving bandwidth all so the spectrum analyzer that I am using in the frequency range 9 kilohertz to 6 gigahertz uh, spectrum analyzer um, and uh, so I am just setting from start 80 megahertz to 600 6 gigahertz spectrum in a full range band so we can able to demodulate some FM, AM audios and uh, APCO and tetra signals some TV TV in the sense video bugs video video signals so now we are in a video signal mode so you can see some kind of GSM signals and Bluetooth signals uh, in a full range mode so my box is around uh, 1115 megahertz uh, so I can able to set uh, start and stop from 1 gigahertz to 1.2 gigahertz that's around 1200 uh, 1200 megahertz so 1200 sorry sorry one second uh, thousand two hundred yeah fine now you can see that uh, so start from a thousand and thousand two hundred uh, let me first of all let me on my box uh, to show you that uh, whether my box is working or not and you can able to see some uh, waterfall uh, plot uh, below the spectrum mm, in a green in a green color uh, so now I'm just on my box so you can see the bug signal and you can see uh, the red mark which indicates the bugs is get on and now it's get off in a waterfall diagram uh, so these are all which help you to locate the signal also uh, so just I keep it in left so, so first of all we need to set uh, the signal whether I my uh, my thing is video so I am just going with only uh, analog TV so but we can able to say uh, I like the GSM tetra detect and uh, some kind of video signal audio box some so first of all I will set the configuration signal injection 5 and I will set a uh, up to 3 dB as a maximum value mark which mark you can able to see uh, some kind of data logs is getting loaded in a tabular form with respect to the power level respect to power level um, so we can able to see we can this is can be used for a uh, data logging purpose also data logging and uh, um, you can able to save this data as a backup in a word format also so um, so first of all I will delete all the frequency range which is getting loaded in a data, data log um, so just delete it and now now let me once, on, once again we will check with whether our analog is get uh, enable or disable um, it's got a little bit struck uh, so yeah so now I just turn on my signal it's get loaded uh, yeah you can able to see the signal um, here my box signal is getting detecting over 1120 megahertz and 
so we can able to check it whether the analog is get uh, disabling or enabling so my thing is getting enabling we can able to disable all the signal and we can able to enabling through this module also so you can see that uh, signal is getting enabling and uh, we need to go we need to demodulate this signal into video so this is my video so you can see it in a top uh, I can demodulating icon so if you go to demodulation there is a set frequency frequency range and we can able to demodulate it I'm just now I'm demodulating so you can see a little bit uh, video my receiver is some kind of uh, low specification receiver so the people from radio inspector suggest a good receiver um, good receiving antenna some kind of uh, from Aronia Aronia um, receiving antenna so it's like a kind of omnidirectional and directional antenna so I'm setting a band uh, bandwidth in kilohertz 300 3000 8000 17000 as per your receiver so I'm just tuning now right now to 8000 it's little bit uh, it's not clear so so once again I go to back to so what I'm uh, that's a for a good receiver you will get a good uh, signal uh, man I mean good uh, video video quality so so this one is a low specification uh, antenna, omnidirectional antenna. Using directional antenna, you can find, you can locate your bugs. Uh, you can locate it uh, by a bug uh, because uh, this BB60C um, is a USB based. You can just pick with your laptop and you can able to move here and there. It's a, there is no need of any kind of external power supply. So right now I'm just tuning my signal a yeah, little bit fine. So I am just you can able to change the bandwidth from uh, 3000 to 8000 it will get a good uh, video quality uh, with respect to band and uh, receiving antenna so I am trying to keep my signal um, in a good position good manner so let me stop it and I once again I highlight my signal where is the specified that so I am locating in a so I'm just I'm clicking right spot in the uh, tick of the signal. So now you can see I stop the signal and you can see my see my face. It's not some little bit not a clear, but uh, for a good receiver you can able to see the video in a perfect manner. Uh, so so this is a little bit uh, video demolition uh, in a TSEM uh, the radio inspector uh, using. So in the radio inspector you can able to using the data log um, you can able to see the signal you can able to demolate the video you can able to jam the signal uh, now I disconnect my think uh, my video box so the signal get disabled so you can see it so once you highlight your box you can able to jam the signal and uh, you can able to stop the transmission you, you can see the TMC jammer using the jammer you can able to jam the uh, some radius some kind of radius signal uh, particular signal which is transmitted in a fre frequency range around uh, 1150 megahertz or 1120 megahertz in the frequency range you can able to jam the signal so this why this was explained and uh, about how to detect using radio inspector so Thank you. Once again, we will uh, see by a good video back. Thank you.